Good morning, Southwest kids. I am so glad we're getting to meet again this morning. I hope you've had a great week. We, if you would like some daily Bible reading, if you want to read Genesis 12, you can split that chapter up and read a few verses every day out of Genesis 12. Um, we are going to talk about uh, the same man of faith that we talked about last week. Does anybody remember who that is? Yes, Abraham. Good job. Good job remembering. So last, uh, last week I had y'all look outside and see if you could see the leaves rustling or the trays, the trees swaying. And what did we have faith that was doing that? The wind. That's right. We had faith that the wind was blowing the trees. And last night I went outside and it was dark and it was, I was in a clearing and I was looking up, but I didn't see any stars. Do you know, uh, do I think they were still up there? What was covering them? I wonder, was it a cloud? Yeah. So it was a cloud covering the stars, but I still know that the stars are up there, don't I? And you know it too, because we have faith that they are up there, okay? And just remember our word this week again is faith, all right? So what's a, the word covenant? Does anybody know what that means? It's not really a word we use too much uh, today, but nowadays we would usually say promise. Okay, I promise something. Um, you've probably used that word before, like you telling your parents maybe, I promise I'm going to be good today, or I promised my friend I was gonna call them, or you know, something like that. But you've probably used the word promise. And um, God promised Abraham that he was chosen to continue God's plan for us, okay? So let's look at a couple of those promises, all right? I'm gonna be reading out of Genesis 12, one through three. And it says, the Lord had said to Abraham, leave your country, your people, and your father's household and get, go to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse, and all the people on earth will be blessed through you. Okay, that's what God told Abraham. So God promised to Abraham that he would make his name great, also that he would bless him. And then in verse 7, God promised Abraham he would give him land for his family. But the people of Abraham's town, Ur, they believed that there were many gods, like gods with a small g, okay? And that they controlled the earth. And religious leaders or wise men, they studied stars because they believed that stars held a message for them. But in Genesis 15, five through six, God promised again to Abraham that his family, would be as numerous as the stars. And he was telling Abraham that he would be part of God's plan for all of us, even us today. We are still part of God's plan that was promised through Abraham, that God promised Abraham. Isn't that so cool that we're still part of a promise that God made to Abraham? So I want you to get a piece of paper and to help us remember that we are blessed today because of the promise God gave to Abraham in Genesis, we're gonna draw a star, okay? So everybody get a piece of paper. Okay, do you have your piece of paper? Okay, I've got mine. All right, we are going to draw a star. Probably most of you already know how to draw a star, so I'm probably not showing you anything new. But to draw a star, you're just gonna draw a V Okay, and from the top of that V, you're gonna draw another V going that way, all right? And then you're just gonna connect the only line that's left, okay? And there's a star. So you can draw one star, or you can draw lots 
and lots and lots of stars, just like Abraham's promise from God that there were gonna his descendants were gonna be as numerous as the stars that are up in the sky. Okay, and so you can color that or just keep drawing stars or whatever you want to do. But good job. Um, so next we're gonna do an experiment. Okay, we are gonna do an experiment. I have a cup of cold water and I have a cup of hot water, okay? Now, everything in the world is made up of uh, invisible particles, okay? And those are called molecules. And, but how do we know the molecules are real, okay? Well, we can't see them. I can't say, oh, there's a molecule. I can't, we can't see them. So I'm gonna add some drops of food coloring to our water, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're just gonna see what happens, okay? <clears throat> Watch it. Hope y'all can see the, the uh, dye going through the water. <laughs> All right, well, as we can see, the cold water, there's still clear water that I can see in the cold, okay? And the hot water, it's pretty much all red, okay? So, well, the molecules in hot water move faster, okay, than they do in cold water. So, the molecules spread faster in the hot cup of water than the cold, but we still haven't seen a molecule, but we see how they work faster in a hot cup of water than a cold cup of water. But just like those molecules that we can't see, but we see them working, don't we? We see the red is all red and the, the cold is still not cold because the molecules haven't completely worked in that cold water. We see them working and it's just like, that's how God is. We don't see him, but every single day we see him working, don't we? We see him by the trees, the wind blowing in the trees. They're not blowing right now. And we can look up at night at the stars. And if there's no stars, we still can know that there are stars. We still have our word. We still have what? We still have faith, don't we? And... Um, but he's working in the world and we know that faith is real because of God. So Hebrews 11, one says, now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Okay. All right. Y'all have a great week.